Hello, welcome to DA186 Games. Today we're doing a new Football Manager 22 project. We're going to be taking a look at some current ability development throughout the several seasons of the game. Our starting list is going to have all of the top players starting at a PA, a potential ability of 185, and then we'll be adding in new gens as they pop into the game and uh, we'll track their development as well alongside of some of uh, the more famous names that you of course will already recognize. So that brings us here where we see uh, the how we the current world stands at the beginning of the save. Um, I did um, an, an arbitrary cap of uh, 185 on the potential ability and then uh, to see how they to give us a kind of a base to work off of and then the, their current age um, so again we'll see we have Lionel Messi, Christian Ronaldo, Mbappe, uh, Manuel Neuer, Lewandowski etc all the way down you can kind of see some of the you know big names names that everybody should recognize um, including the ones highlighted in yellow are ones that start the game with uh, a random uh, potential ability range uh, so Camavinga and Mariba, who both, I believe, start at minus 10s, started this game with a potential ability of 190. Musiala, who is a step below that, I believe he's a minus 95. He started this save uh, at 185. Those were the three out of, uh, I believe there's seven that are a minus 95 or a minus 10. Um, uh, so out of those seven, these three made the cutoff of 185. So starting from the top, you can see uh, Messi at age 34 is a 186 CA with still 200 potential ability. The potential ability um, isn't going to change. What we're going to see change, of course, is the current ability uh, as they develop and then start their decline. So according to potential ability, at least, Messi uh, at age 34 is a 186 out of 200. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo has taken a big step back, uh, especially with the winter update this season. He is at 167 of 196 at age 36. And then uh, Kylian Mbappe, uh, 186 out of 196 uh, at age 22. And then, of course, continuing down the list, um, Neuer at age 35 is 178 out of 193. Uh, Lewandowski at 32, still well in his prime here at 190 of 190. Uh, Neymar who I think early on, you know, kind of in his 24, 25, 26 range, I feel like he was closer to the PA than he is now at age 29. Um, it's going to be interesting to see uh, if he is able to progress at all year to year and maybe close back up on that 190 PA before he starts his decline in his mid to late 30s. Um, and then, of course, everybody's favorite, Erling Holland, is a 177 out of 190. Uh, Camavinga at Real Madrid, Mariba, who is, I believe, back on is on loan now at Valencia. Um, you can see where they start at 138 out of 190 and 135 out of 190. Uh, and then just a step below them is Donnarumma uh, at 161 out of 189. So we do have a couple goalkeepers that made this list. Um, Neuer at 178 out of what did I say 193, and then Donnarumma at 161 out of 189 are your two. At least according to current ability and potential ability, uh, your two best goalkeepers in the world. And then right behind them, of course, Luis Suarez at age 34 is 166 out of 188. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, right, you can see him right in the middle of his prime here at 187 out of 188. Uh, Mo Salah, 184 out of 187, again, right in his prime here. Uh, Gareth Bale probably passed his prime at 145 out of 186. But again, you know, maybe this doesn't drop off. Maybe that goes up a little bit and then drops off in a couple more years. Maybe, you know, maybe he can find something and kind of have a – and see. Well, it'll be interesting to see um, if that – what happens with that. And then kind of the same thing here with Eden Hazard. Again, at just age 30, uh, he's dropped almost 30 points off of his uh, potential ability down to 159 out of 185. So, again, he's kind of in an age where – you know, there might be some room still for uh, some growth in his current ability before his uh, before it really drops off. So it'll be interesting to watch that as well. And then Harry Kane, again, just coming into his prime here at age 28, 
179 at a 185. I would expect that to go up to 185 and hold that at least through age 33, 34. And then uh, delaying it at tw uh, just age 21 is 159 out of 185. So again, a center back entering his, uh, finishing his development, about ready to enter his prime years here. And then uh, Musiala was the last one of the uh, the randomized potential abilities that made the list here at 148 out of 185 at just age 18. I guess some notables that didn't make the list, uh, Makoko missed out. I think his, when I started the game, it put him at 180. Uh, Bellingham, and Ansu Fadi were both on that list. They came out at 177. And then Kareem Ediemi came out at nearly the bottom of his range. Um, with a, Actually, his range, I think, is 160 to 190. And he came out at 171. Uh, so that kind of gives us a brief overview of where we start at the beginning of the save. And so I'm going to go and we're going to holiday for a year. And we'll come back uh, in one year's time. And we'll fill out our spreadsheet and see what it looks like then. And we are back with the results of uh, season one after holiday for uh, one year. We'll, we'll start at the top and kind of go through the uh, the spreadsheet here real quick. Uh, again, you can see Messi dropped off a little bit. Ronaldo kind of stayed where he was, actually. There was a drop off here from Manuel Neuer. Um, kind of, you know, everything here is kind of as expected. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, oddly enough, didn't progress at all, which I find a bit surprising. And then Lewandowski, uh, Neymar. Um, kind of stayed where they at, which again we would expect at this point as they're you know in their early 30s in their prime years. Uh, some really great improvement from Erling Holland, Kamavinga, Mariba all showed nice improvement. Donnarumma, oddly enough, didn't improve. I would have expected to see some improvement from him. Uh, Luis Suarez, of course, dropped off. De Bruyne, Salah in their primes. Garrett Bale retired, so um, I don't have any information on where he ended there. Uh, Eden Hazard dropped off. Uh, Harry Kane, however, again, you can see entering his prime, getting a little bit closer to his uh, ability of 185 there. came up a little bit. Uh, Delegate also had a great year with a 15 improvement to his uh, current ability. Uh, so this there was an 8, or an, uh, sorry, that's an 8, a 16 there, a 15 here, and then a 16 here for Musiala. So some really uh, nice improvement there from the guys who were in their early 20s. Uh, and then in blue, you can see highlighted, we have, we added uh, six um, new gens, uh, Ibrahima Kaba, Enzo Crony, Jorge Garon, Elijah Smith, and uh, Michael Capaletti. I think he's Italian and French, so he's got quite the name. And now uh, we'll take a closer look at these guys going through uh, what they look like in, uh, okay, and we're going to try and go through these quickly uh, because it's a lot of players. I don't want to spend too much time on, on them, but you can see Messi uh, had a solid season. We'll go through this page. Uh, 7.54 rating. Wasn't really involved much in the scoring, but he did manage to play 30, well, 45 games total. Uh, four goals, seven assists, four man of the match, and a really solid rating, even if there wasn't a whole lot of goal contributions. Keeps dropping them on that page. Ronaldo, uh, had a solid season for uh, United. We'll have to see if he can continue that. Uh, Mbappe at PSG. He's a free agent, by the way. He hasn't signed a new contract yet, but he had a solid season. Um, again, a lot of these guys just did, you know, kind of performed as you would expect them to. Really solid season at Bayern from Manuel Neuer, uh, Lewandowski. Scored 22 goals, 30 goals total, 22 league goals. Um, really don't have, I'm going to be able to go through all of these. Neymar had a solid season. Uh, Erling Holland got bought by uh, Manchester City for $160 million after having a fantastic season for Dortmund. Here is uh, Camavinga. Again, he had a pretty solid season for Real Madrid. Uh, with, you know, a 6.8 for somebody who's 19 years old. You're not going to complain about that at all as he continues to develop. Same thing with Mariba. He's back at Leipzig after spending the year on loan at Valencia. And again, he had a really solid season for Valencia as well. Uh, Donnarumma at PSG. 
uh, had a really solid season. Again, nothing that anybody you would nothing unexpected or unusual there. Uh, Luis Suarez playing back in Spain at Atletico Madrid. Again, solid contributions. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne at Manchester City had a fantastic season with eight goals, fifteen assists, seven point five four rating. And Mohamed Salah. Uh, again, he had a really nice season. 17 goals, 8 assists, 10 man of the match at a 7.71 rating. Um, he was uh, he was fantastic this season. Here's your first regen, uh, or new gen, coming through the uh, PSG Academy. Ibrahim Akaba, Portuguese, and Ghanaian. Um so likely see him on the uh, Portuguese national team here in about five years' time. But again, he's he'll be 16 in just over a month. Really solid set of attributes there. And then, of course, we saw that he has a 186 potential ability. Uh, so we'll be watching to see how he does with that. Eden Hazard, despite... Uh, he played pretty well, actually, Um with his 25 appearances, although most of them are for the bench. He had six starts and then 19 sub-appearances. Uh, still was in a solid position most of the time. Harry Kane scored 20 league goals and then five outside of that for 25 total. Uh, he had a really nice season as well. We can see Delegate at Juventus. Again, he looks fantastic. Uh, Musiala at Bayern. Uh, he played pretty well. Mo started 30 games for them. Made four more appearances off the bench. Some nice goal and assist contributions there for a nice 7.44 rating. And then now we're down to our... These guys were 185s. We have a Dutch uh, new gen Enzo Crony. Came through at Heronveen. Jorge Garon is in Colombia. The... Uh, Columbia first tier here, Liga Bet Play. And already starting in the first team at just 16 years old. Jorge Garon. Again, he looks like he's just going to be a fantastic passer. Uh, has already has a great personality as well. Elijah Smith uh, threw at Derby, a uh, keeper, actually. It'll be interesting to watch his development and see uh, how they how the AI handles that. And then uh, Michelle Capaletti, My Michael, Michael, I'm not sure if you say Michelle or if you say Michael. Uh, another nice looking midfielder, aggressive, determination, um, takes good long shots, can tackle really well actually. It's definitely more of a uh, more of a ball winning type of midfielder here. So again, you can see here after season one, uh, we added some new gems, Ibrahim Akaba, 186. And then the four that we added at 185. Type that name wrong. And then, of course, we have the uh, the youngsters in Camavinga, Mariba, Musiala, uh, Holland, and Deligate both looked really good. And so it should be uh, interesting to see how this continues on once we get to the end of Season 2. And I will see you then. And... Welcome back to the end of season two now, uh, as we continue to take a look at how things are developing for our uh, current players and for some new gens. You can see that we did add four more new gens, so we're up, up to a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five last season for this season. But again, starting from the top, and we'll kind of go through these quickly again, just to so try and keep this from taking up too much fine, too much time uh Lionel Messi again we see he dropped off a little bit a little bit more for Ronaldo uh, Mbappe made the big step up this season that I was expecting last season so he's up to 194 out of his 196 Manuel Neuer again he continued to a little bit of a downward trend five or six a year um it seems to be uh pretty standard occasionally you get a bigger drop of like eight but most of the time it looks like it's five or six and then maybe at the end of this we can take a look at deeper look at that see if maybe there's some personality changes or personality differences that would kind of lead to that uh, Lewandowski looks like he's starting to drop off a little bit now at age 34 Neymar stayed the same Holland hit his cap at 190 
we saw an okay improvement from Camavinga, a big improvement from Mariba. So he has went from being 3 CA behind him to 13 CA ahead of him in just three years. So his, I think a big effect of it has been um, his playing time, and we'll look at that a little bit deeper once we kind of go through the, the player profiles uh, in Football Manager. Donnarumma took a little bit of a step up this time. Suarez continued his step down, losing nine points. Uh, De Bruyne is still in his prime. We added a new one. Oh, we got a couple new ones to talk about here. Norberto, N Norberto Ray. I can't say those words, those syllables for some reason. Uh, he showed up as a 192, so he looks like he could develop into a world-class player. Daniel Denise uh, also showed up as a 101 out of 188. Uh, Mohamed Salah, again, seeing him sitting here right here in his prime at age 31. Uh, Gareth Bale is retired. Ibrahim Akaba barely moved, only playing uh, at PSG, only playing a little bit for the uh, reserve team. Barely barely moved there. And then uh, Hazard continued his drop-off. He had a pretty significant drop-off all the way down to 142. So he had a 10-point loss this season. Kane inched a little bit closer to uh, being at his peak. Uh, again, at age 30, at age 30 now, he probably has one more year where he goes up and then he'll level off and then probably start to decline, similar to Lewandowski's up here at age 34. And then uh, Delega, he took a big step forward, moving nine points closer. Um, so he's up to 183 out of 185 now at age 23. So he's pretty much uh, settled into his prime, which... He, as a def center back, I would expect him that to last all the way up until 33, 34. So he's going to have 10 years uh, really at his peak CA. Musiala also took a big step forward all the way up to 177 at just age 20. So he looks fantastic. Some of the new gents from last season, Enzo Crony, moved up with uh, from 98 all the way up to 114. So he jumped up 16 points. Jorge Garon, who again has been starting in the first team for his team at Columbia, Moved up 17 points. Uh, a 10-point jump for Elijah Smith. 13.4, Michelle Capaletti up from 93 to 106. And then a couple more 185s popped up. Uh, Adam Bell and Luca Viviano. And now I'm going through what these players look like uh, in Football Manager. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them this time um, just because it's going to end up taking too much time. But a couple things of note when I was kind of uh, skimming through here earlier. Mbappe signed with Manchester City, so they have a pairing of Mbappe and uh, Erling Holland up top at Manchester City, so they, which led them to the uh, Champions League this season. Uh, Norberto Ray, one of the new, oh, I thought he had his picture in here. I'll have to fix that. Uh, he is at uh, Lanús in uh, Argentina, but again, looks like a very, very good striker. And then one of the other new ones, here's Holland at Manchester City. Uh, scored 20, uh, 38 goals overall in the season, 22 in the league, 14 in the Champions League, and then he added 12 international goals as well. So he had quite the season. Um, going down to Daniel uh, Denise, he is at uh, his club in Brazil still. Uh, the, one of our, the one that changed uh, teams... Manchester City came in and swooped in for uh, Elijah Smith, f taking him from Derby uh, for 185000 That's the w new gen that has, uh, out of at least of our top ones so far, that has changed teams so far. And then here's a look at Adam Bell. He came through the Middlesbrough system. Uh, midfielder, attacking midfielder. Again, 185 PA, but a pretty low start for him with just 82. So it's going to be interesting to see if that hinders him at all. And then Luca Viviano is an Italian coming through the AC Milan system. Uh, so that'll do it now here for the end of uh, Season 2, and then I'll see you when we come back at the end of Season 3. And welcome back as we continue to track some uh, current ability development here at the end of Season 3. Uh, we are now... Uh, in 2024 and so just quickly going through our list of players uh, we'll go over the ones that we added as well here uh, but Lionel Messi has dropped down to 167 
So again, you see a drop of six. So it's kind of, it looks like five or six is usually about your standard, um, at least initially. And then uh, if they're not getting any playing time or if they have a bad personality, I think is when it accelerates. Uh, you can see Ronaldo, he dropped from a 157 to a 146 and has announced his intentions to retire. Mbappe is still sitting just below his cap, uh, but really he's pretty much at his peak now for a second year in a row. And then you can see Manuel Neuer, again, it's five, si or five, six, and then a seven drop here as he hit age 38. But again, he hasn't announced any intentions to retire yet, and he's still a very, very strong keeper. Um, Norberto Ray had a very promising development. We had uh, Javi Castro has shown up in the Spanish third division uh, as a 191 with 87 C8, just 16. Lewandowski, again, I think probably because he's got a higher natural fitness and um, is also still getting a lot of playing time. He really hasn't dropped off much, just three or four a year for him. But again, slight drop here now at age 35. Probably start to see that accelerate as he goes past 36 and 37. Neymar also showed his first signs of dropping off, dropping down from 180 to 177. Erling Holland, of course, still at his peak, paired with Mbappe at uh, Manchester City. Again, we have the interesting thing here, and I think this one is due entirely to playing time. Camavinga has spent three years at Real Madrid, but only playing off the bench, starting just two or three times a season. Mariva has been a starter uh, since the very beginning, first at Valencia and then two years at Red Bull. Uh, Leipzig so he has climbed all the way up to 170 and um, has a big move in the works to Chelsea going to Chelsea for 135 million dollars uh, Donnarumma stepped up again and is uh, competing with Ter Stegen as the best keeper in the world we had a new uh, I believe he's Czech um, but we'll look at that in the game Redeem Sindelof uh, showed up as a 100 out of 189 this season Luis Suarez hasn't announced any intentions to retire, but again, he continued his drop-off um, down to 142 now. Kevin De Bruyne uh, still basically at his peak here of 187 or 188 uh, at age 33. Not much progression here from Daniel uh, Denise, um, which we'll take a look at that as well. Maybe see if we can't find a closer reason for that. And then Henry Valley showed up as a uh, uh, Belgian Again, just age 15, 96 out of 188. Mo Salah, again, still sitting here firmly at his peak at 187. Uh, the retired Gareth Bale, Ibrahim Akaba. PSG is making a mess at his development. He hasn't progressed at all. And uh, is now just sitting at 95 after three seasons of, or I guess, two seasons of development. Uh, Eden Hazard dropped off again all the way down to 133 and has announced his intentions to retire. Uh, Harry Kane, still in his prime here at age 31, at 184 to 185. And then Deligat also has really reached his prime um, at 184 at 185. Musiala, at just age 21, has peaked. Uh, so, I mean, at age 21, to have reached 185, you got to think that he's got 10 years playing at that level, which is just going to be um, really intriguing to watch. And then Enzo Crony showed some promising development. Jorge Garon, uh, promising development as well. Uh, Crony still playing for the uh, 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 Heronveen first team. Jorge Garon and his Colombian team is still has been playing for two and a half seasons, really, uh, in their first team. So he's had a lot of development. Elijah Smith um, has also continued to improve just a little bit. Not quite as fast as these guys, but again, he has had some solid improvement. Uh, he's in the Manchester City under-18s now. Michelle Capaletti uh, showed some nice development of as well, up to 116. He was at an Italian Serie C side, uh, but Arsenal just bought him for 875000 plus some incentives. Uh, so he'll be going to Arsenal next. And then Adam Bell and uh, Luca Viviano also showed some um, improvement as well, especially Luca Viviano jumping from 94 to 111. And now I'm going through some of these players, see what their attributes look like at this point in Football Manager. Uh, Lionel Messi, again, still absolutely world-class, 
technically and mentally, it's really the physicals that are letting him down, which is why I imagine that this will probably be his last season coming up. Uh, has continued to play at a very high level um, with some nice solid ratings, although there hasn't been a whole lot of goal contributions. Last season was very good with 11 goals and 13 assists, and then definitely was a significant drop-off uh, in playing time and uh, rating-wise this season as well. Lewandowski continues to have very solid um, mentals and te technicals as well as physicals. His physicals aren't dropping off as fast as other people's because of the high natural fitness of 20, which is really slowing his um, his CA uh, regression, I guess, or decline. Uh, he signed with PSG for free this season and scored 25 goals in 44 total games. Norberto Ray, Atlantis, had broke into the first team a little bit this season, and you can see he's made some positive development. Here's Xavi Castro playing at a Spanish third division side, uh, Lida, Yaida Esportu, or I think that's probably Yaida Esportu. Um, interesting looking center back, maybe midfielder kind of it, wherever he wants to play. And here you can see Camavinga, while he's still very, very good um, physically, mentally, I mean, it's it's very strong all across the board. He hasn't quite progressed quite as high as Mariba has, and I think it's simply due down to his playing time. And you can see the first season, it was all off the bench. Four starts, 39 sub-appearances. Three starts, 20 sub-appearances. Five starts, 28 sub-appearances. So they haven't really given him a, much of a chance in the first team. Um, it's all been uh, appearances off the bench. And then when you look at Mariba, you can see he's just a bit of a step ahead of Camavinga. With um, the physicals there, you know, slight edge, natural fitness, agility, balance. And then a slight edge here on some of these mentals, especially like with the vision and the flair. Uh, his first touch and technique and passing are all better. Um, so really, he's definitely taking a little bit of a step ahead of him. And I think, again, it comes down to just playing time. Uh, on loan, the first season at Valencia, 32 starts. At Red Bull Leipzig, second season, 32 starts. And then this past season, again, 32 starts with 10 goals and 10 assists, six man of the match, and a 7.6 rating. I mean, he was absolutely fantastic this season. Here's Redeem Sindeloff. Uh, the new Czech midfielder who uh, the game gave us this season. Very high technique and flair. be interesting to see if everything else can kind of catch up with that. Daniel uh, Denise didn't quite have the development that you would have expected for someone uh, quite yet. But again, he's Angolan and Brazilian. Angola made... A, I think Angola got a steal getting this guy in, <laughs> capped for them at the age of 16. So now, even though he uh, has Brazilian uh, nationality, he was born in Angola, plays in Brazil. Angola was able to get him capped for their national team uh, very early, which I think is just fantastic. Uh, you can look at his history here. Again, hasn't broken into the first team yet, just has a lot of uh, non-competitive games that he's played. And uh, so, you know, it still has a little long ways to go, but he has the potential to get there, I think. Henry Valley is the youngest one that we've had to come through yet. It is 15, doesn't turn 16 until the end of October. Very high flair and very high aggression. Kind of an interesting combination, but the technique and the passing are there. If they can manage to develop his vision um, or, you know, develop his shooting one or the other he could turn into a very good either you know midfielder or striker but again he's got a long ways to go with an interesting uh, attribute distribution for somebody who's supposed to be a striker or a winger although I guess his dribbling and crossing are probably there as well so he probably turns into a winger um, or inside forward if he can develop his shooting because again he's either footed Ibrahim Akaba again PSG are making a mess out of this forwards development he hasn't progressed at all, only going from 92 to 95. Uh, again, he had some time here with PSG2, and then again here with PSG2, uh, a bunch of playing time for their second team, 
but it hasn't really amounted to any kind of current ability development. Again, only going from 92 to 95 in two and a half seasons. Harry Kane, of course, is one of the best uh, forwards in the world, although he's a bit of a step behind Mbappe and Holland, um, on par with Lewandowski, really. And again, he's somebody with high natural fitness, which should be able to kind of prolong his uh, career a bit. Musiala, at, again, just age 21, is already at his uh, peak of 185 and is absolutely fantastic. Had a spectacular season for Bayern, scoring 18 goals with 6 assists and a 7.68 rating. Enzo Crony has gotten a lot of first-team football, which is kind of why I think you've seen him progress past Kaba, even though they're both forwards. Um, he definitely has taken a step ahead of him, playing plenty of time with the Heronveen first team this season with 24 starts and scoring 12 goals. Michel Capoletti is leaving his uh, Italian third-division side for Arsenal in January for 875000 plus. Again, very strong, very determined, brave and aggressive, and a good tackler. Uh, so, you know, I'm assuming they're going to be playing him as a ball-winning midfielder and just letting him run around and tackle everybody. Yeah, Adam Bell uh, is a bit of a step behind everybody because he started with such a low current ability. It's interesting to see how much longer it takes him to reach his peak uh, potential ability or even if he's able to reach that at all. Uh, again, playing for Middlesbrough, still with the under-18s. Lots of playing time for the under-18s. But again, starting definitely a, a step behind everybody, current ability-wise. Uh, we'll have to see if how much of a difference that makes and if, if it how much longer it takes him to reach his peak potential ability. And then we've got Luca Viviano here still at Milan. Lots of uh, ability to play all around the, the, you know, the attacking unit. Good size good physicals, good mentals already for somebody who's just 17 and just turned 17, in fact, just a week ago. So he's um, he's got plenty of uh, plenty of room to grow still. So that kind of sums up everything of uh, where we're at through three seasons. Uh, this video is going to get way too long if I keep doing this season by season. Uh, so this is going to end this video. But again, we'll, and I'll have uh, another video out uh, shortly with kind of a broader uh, overview, having done uh, several seasons um, into the future and kind of get an idea of what uh, some, of these re uh, some of these new gens look like as they continue to develop and uh, see how they compare with the development of some of the uh, younger players like Musiala or uh, Kamavinga or uh, Mariba. And then we'll see how long they can stay at their peak potential abilities before they start to drop off as well. And again, see if there's any difference between a new gen or somebody who is in the game at the start. Or if there's other factors that make a difference like uh, we see with Lewandowski's high natural fitness and um, or any other of the uh, hidden attributes. But again, that's going to wrap up this video. And again, tune in again next time when we look at... Uh, uh, several seasons at once here uh, further into the future. Thanks for watching.